If you want to see how I achieved this textured Bantu knot, stay tuned. If you like what you see, or even if you don't, if you just want to support your girl, go ahead, subscribe, like, share, follow me on Instagram. I really wanted to do some Bantu knots because I just needed a style that I don't typically have. I just didn't want the typical like neat Bantu look. And as you can see, my hair is not that long. So I knew I would have to add extra hair anyway. So I scoured the internet looking for some inspiration. And this is what I found. I decided to try to do that type of look with like a bigger knot. And they aren't as big as hers are, but I like the fact that it has texture. I'm not really sure exactly how they did hers, but I just wanted some sort of texture. And this is how I achieved that. I used some shining jam. Of course, you need a comb to part. Mirror to see the back of your head. I use just hair ties like this at the base instead of rubber bands, but a rubber band would still work. I just didn't want to use rubber bands because it typically has a lot more attention. And thankfully these do not hurt right now. And you can use a brush to kind of slick it down. The hair that I used is twisted up, springy Afro twist hair. When you get it, it looks like this. This is the kind of hair I use. You only need what, however many knots you have. So it's five, eight, ten knots. So you would only need however many ten of these is. I got the three pack and I had already used some of the hair. So I think I used what would be considered like two bundles of it or one and a half bundles of it so basically i started with parting my hair into three sections i'm gonna link a video down below to better describe how i did it because i did follow a tutorial that somebody else did just not exactly she goes through exactly how she parts her hair in these triangle parts but it's basically you start by sectioning it one section at the bottom another section in the middle and then another section at the top and then you just part it into triangles from there but like i said you can watch her video for a more detailed description of how to do that but once you have it parted i saved one just to show y'all you want to go ahead and use your shining gem or whatever gel you have to slick that down Then you take your hair tie or whatever you're using at the base. Like I said, you can still use a rubber band. I just don't want to use rubber band. But you take that and remember not to make it too tight because it's going to get tighter once you wrap it. So you're left with this. So as you can see, I got some color at the end, but that's kind of why I wanted to do the texture look because it just doesn't matter as much with the textured look because it's not a super neat style. I take some more of my shine and jam and I put it on the ends because this is gonna help you kind of tuck it in there. The good thing about using this hair <laughs> is it comes kind of pre-separated. Each individual kind of strand looks like this it comes out the package just like this already separated for the size that i have in my head i use one of these you can make them bigger by using two or using one and a half i just want to give a disclaimer that these are somewhat difficult to braid with because they are a kinkier hair than you would use typically for braiding you're going to need a little bit of patience but it's not that hard once you get the hang of it. So I start by taking one thing and I separate it into two, one being smaller than the other, because what I'm gonna do is fold it over like that to make it 
how you would braid braid. And I want to say that if you do not know how to braid, if you don't know how to do like a box braid, it is perfectly fine. You can use a crochet needle instead, stick it through, pull the whole thing through, separate it, and then braid it. This is how I'm doing it because I, like I said, this helps with tension at the base of your knot. And when you use a crochet needle, that puts the tension right there. If you know how to braid, like a box braid, you just start braiding it like that. And what's important is you make sure you run your fingers through the end every single time or else you will end up with a knotted mess that makes the process much more difficult. It does not have to be perfect. I don't even have to get it super close to the base. I'm not even trying to make it that tight at the base because it won't matter once you start wrapping it. My own hair is even sticking out a lot, but it doesn't matter. Braid it all the way down. Now I have it completely braided. I'm just going to start to wrap it. You can secure the bottom like this so you can get that first wrap around. Now I want a wider knot so I'm not going to pull it super tight like you might when you're doing a regular Bantu knot. I'm trying to achieve a wider look and not one that's super, super tight at the bottom. You can either secure it with a bobby pin or another rubber band. I'm opting for a rubber band. I'm just gonna take a regular rubber band and you can probably wrap it around twice to secure it and that is it you obviously repeat this but this is how it looks all the way around thanks for tuning in y'all i hope you like how it came out the good thing about this style is that it's not meant to be perfect it is going to work just fine.